Hello everybody, Mr. Stormer here, coming at you with what I hope to be the first of many drawing classes. Now, we would do these types of drawings in class. We started around January, February, and just uh, getting used to the process. And uh, we're really starting to make some progress, so I was trying to figure out the best way to do a drawing lesson online. And I came across a video from Young Rembrandt. It's a an art program, an after-school art program that I actually uh, taught for Young Rembrandt's for a couple years. So I'm familiar with their process, and I sort of adapted it for the preschoolers. So I'm going to copy their techniques and their camera angles. In the classroom, I would just do it on the big whiteboard, and the whole class would follow along step by step and I could make sure everybody was following along um, but at home you can just hit the pause button if you need a little more time All right we'll need a, a piece of paper a pencil uh, an eraser eventually we'll need uh, some markers we use permanent sharpie markers to outline our drawings it has a really nice look when you're done but we have to be careful with the permanent markers of course so I have a, a piece of paper underneath my drawing so when it comes time to use that permanent marker it doesn't go through onto my table and, and ruin it okay now if you don't have the supplies you need uh, to do these drawings you will soon um, it's Tuesday night right now I'm hoping to have uh, a little stack of paper with a pencil and eraser and a, a new Sharpie marker and maybe some um, Crayolas along with the homework packet uh, delivered by the end of this week by Friday so keep an eye out for some supplies all right so I have my young Rembrandt's video playing on my phone here I'm gonna follow along and again if, if uh, you need more time just hit the pause button We're going to have to turn our page this way. Yeah. All right. Let's draw this octopus. Start with the line right in the middle of our page, and then a big curve for the octopus's head. Octopus has two eyes. Draw them right over that big curve, and then I'm going to take my eraser get rid of that line that goes right through the middle of the eyes there we go I'm gonna put a little dot inside I'm not gonna color that in with the pencil I'll wait to color it with the marker okay and this is a happy octopus a little smile all right octopus has eight tentacles you're gonna start in the middle go down and they're nice and round and big at the bottom and skinny when they come back to the octopus's body. When I turn my page it makes it easier to draw a big curve like that so if you want go ahead and turn your page to make it a little more comfortable drawing those big curved tentacles. And that last one like the lady said in the video, sort of hiding behind this other tentacle, so you only see part of it, and tuck it back in there into the body. All right, there's one, two, three, four on that side. And we need four more to make eight. This one's just got a little bit of a curve to it. You want to try to fill up the page as much as you can. Make those tentacles reach out as far as your paper will let you. Tuck that last one in. Curves up, comes down, and disappears back behind the other one. Now let's put some spots on the octopus. Draw part of a circle up here. And a medium circle there. And a small circle. Now, you know, you have suction cups on the bottom of the 
tentacles. I'm just going to do three little ovals there. Two little ovals. They can be different sized ovals. Looks a little cooler when they're different sizes. Now you can't see the suction cups on the, the two tentacles in the middle, so we'll skip those. Put some suction cups on these tentacles here. And there we go. There's our pencil drawing of an octopus. Now we're going to want to color this in uh, with markers or crayons. And if you do that with a uh, regular Crayola marker, it's going to smear, it's going to look a big mess. So that's why we use the permanent markers just for the outline. Now we're going to just trace over our pencil drawings. And take your time, be very careful with this because you cannot erase a permanent marker. Again, I turn the page just to make it easier for my hand and eyes to see what I'm doing. There's the octopus's head. I think I'll fast forward through this like the, the young Rembrandt's lady did. There you go. It's a nice octopus drawing there. Alright, put my permanent marker away. And a good thing to do after we use the permanent marker is to get the eraser out and just get rid of the leftover pencil marks. Uh, again, if you try to color uh, this octopus in with Crayola markers, that pencil will smear and make it yucky get rid of the pencil altogether that would be good. You're going to want to make sure you get rid of all the erasure schmegmas left on the paper. Nice and clean. Yeah, there we go. Now let's get some color on that octopus. Uh, you can use crayons, color pencils. I have markers. Uh, you can pick whatever color you want for an octopus. I think pink would look good with that red permanent marker and a, a little bit of purple and a little bit of dark pink. Okay. Of course you can pick whatever colors you want. Okay. Now the key is no scribbling. I know some of my friends still enjoy scribbling on their drawings, but this is a good octopus drawing. I'm going to take my time and be very careful. I like to do a line around the inside of whatever I'm coloring, you know, so it helps me stay in the lines. Sometimes I use the point of the marker to color, and sometimes I lay it down a little bit and use the fat part of the marker. Uh, you do whatever you think works best. Take your time and try to stay in the lines. All right, let's get moving here. All right, there we go. It's my pink octopus. I really like how that came out. Now one more thing to do. Put your name on it. All right, I'm very interested to see how your octopus drawing came out. Um, so give it a try and send me those pictures of those octopuses I, I wanna see. 
Okay. Thank you for doing this drawing with me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.